Hi everybody, here's Christian from Game Design Reviews, Game Design Scrapbook, and of course TeamworkCast.com. And today I will be playing Amnesia and Machine for Pigs. I will be playing this, this is a cold playthrough, I haven't played this game yet. I played a prequel, Amnesia, and this is actually a beta, so the game has been not released as I'm recording this. Uh, I got this better from my good friends at uh, Frictional Games. And uh, this will be scary. I, I, I bought me some. I brought me some tea. I bought me some tea. Uh, so this will be accompanying me, and it will be a scary experience. As you can see, I used my um, potato to record this uh, this playthrough, so you can see my beautiful face as it's being con destroyed and contorted uh, through the various scary things that we are about to encounter, guys. Uh, so without further ado, let us just start a new game. Oh yeah! Scary noise, scary sounds already. I don't, I don't like it. Oh look, a heart. I wonder what what V is. V sounds. Whoa. Hey, it's gone. He who makes a beast of himself removes himself from the pain of being human, Dr. Samuel L. Jackson. Huh. Daddy. Daddy. Please don't kill me. Well, that's a loaded line. Lightning! Alright. Okay. Ah. I don't like this. What is that? Is that is that like a little what? Yeah. Not good, guys. This is super not good. A door opens. A door opens. This is a door that just opened. Are you? All right. Good. Good. Oh, a door closed. A door opens. Another door closes. That's the way it works, you know. Yeah, like creepy children singing it. It's like a pretty, pretty good way to start a horror story. Like, like clowns, like children singing has like always like this connotation of being super creepy, especially if it's like with this reverb, like la 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 la. Alright, I can move. Nice, I can move. Things are a little bit blurry. So. So I, uh, to be perfectly honest, I started the game once to see if it works. So um, this is a really creepy situation here because this guy sleeps in a cage, and I, I really love this because it seems like so well thought out, like it well integrated into this kind of bad situation here. Oh, look at there's a hint, and ooh, well that doesn't sound like a metal door at all. Huh. Anyway, um. And I, I'm, I kind of asking myself: Is is that supposed to protect him from what's outside, or is that supposed to keep in what's inside? Does he change into something when he sleeps? I guess maybe into a pig. All right, let's see what else is here. I cannot pick up in any of these objects. What is that? It's a biblia. Yeah. All right, that, that tells me already I'm not in in England. We are not in England, Mr. Bagley. All right. Ooh, nice painting. All right. Ooh. I guess I don't have to dress. I don't see myself. I, I guess I don't have to dress. I guess I'm sleeping in my clothes. 
sleeping in my clothes and in my oh there is something I can pick up uh, let me get this chair out of the way right in my dreams I see a man dressed in jaguar skins and feathered like a blooded saint what came from the heart lubricated us it crushed evil under its threat and liberated us all the furtive heart of the jungle mirrored somewhere behind my forehead. My temple pounds. The blood boils in my skull. It feels as if there's something alive there. A rat. A damn rat. Gnawing through my brains. Eating its way out into the world. Even laudanium will not quell its endless hunger. I hear my children playing in the attic. But it fills me with terror. Not love. What desperate thoughts are these? I, my my thoughts exactly. But I see it's eighteen hundred ninety nine. Found this year, Claire. Mm. June twenty fourth. That was just a couple of days ago. Like June twenty fourth was just a couple of days ago. As I'm recording this. Um. Yeah. Um. I guess some kind of heart of the jungle and uh, like. Ugh. The rats gnawing outside of the skull that sounds like really see that's kind of like really disappointing like not there's that, that's supposed to be a mirror I would say and it's not not reflecting anything maybe I'm a vampire I don't really know maybe my, my sound graphics card things doesn't really work okay let's open this door I don't expect a monster coming at me right now daddy daddy find us nice puzzle a puzzle can I I can't is there some kind of inventory? Oh! Alright. I wake alone to a house science. It's missing sound of children playing a good dog and the fetic spelunkler? See, I like the font, but the font doesn't render very well on my on this resolution. Beckoning to a descent of the lower what? To the to, to begin a descent to lone where surely only bodies may be found. No matter my children call, I shall answer. All right. So I, what I'm asking myself as well is, how will fictional games solve the problem? The problem being, how do you have characters in a game without actually showing them? Because that's actually something that has been a challenge for the previous fictional games as well. Uh, we can uh, we re remember the beautiful disembodied character at the end of Amnesia. Oops. I held your hand. And watch the blood pool between your legs. What? You lived long enough to see Edwin. Oh. But not Enoch. Ooh. I will take care of them, my love. I promise you this. All right. We already know a couple of things about this character. Why are there so many wine glasses everywhere? Did he have like a party? Hey, beautiful flowers. All right. Creepy pig head. I get it. There's a piece of paper I can't read and the broken glass. Ooh, some nice reflections on the glass. Ooh, I can turn off the thing, yay! Alright, we see that whoever slept here or also or also slept in a cage. I guess that's his wife? I don't even know. Maybe it's a children's room. It doesn't really look like a children's room. Right! Alright, I get it. Oh, there's a book. Maybe it's 250 Shades of Grey. I'm pretty sure it's it's Fifty Shades of Grey, guys. It's it's the horror story, right? This is wow. The locks are pretty elaborate here. This guy is concerned about security. Can I just jump jump down there? No. This guy is concerned about security, and he is pretty sweet. I love this painting. Like there's a dog, and there's a girl, and the girl's like, I don't even want to play with your dog, and the dog like, I don't even like you anymore. Or maybe she's she's playing hide and seek with the dog, and the dog is just too stupid to run away. I love this doll. It's a nice, nice little thing in the corner. I sometimes I fight paintings, but I just, just get into man. Ooh, it's a bathroom. I'm gonna close the door. There's nothing to see. Oh, is there poo in the toilet? No. Oh no! Oh, that's so beautiful. These are actually pretty nifty, to be honest. I would love to have a, a thing again, a mirror that doesn't reflect anything. Arr. Maybe it's a graphics card. I don't even know. Wow. What's even that? Anyway. Look. Alright. 
And there is a mirror behind the bathtub. Pretty kinky, if you ask me. Yeah, pretty kinky. So you can see your junk. So you can see your junk when you get into the bathroom. Oops. All right, already getting creepy. Papa, Papa, this way. Ah! All right, all right. I wasn't scared. That was just acting. You thought I was, I was scared. I wasn't scared. It's a boy. All right. There are sound effects. We're not gonna go there. Ooh. For more wine, like everybody's like seriously, did he have like a party or something? What's going on there? Ooh, lots of nothing. Wait. No. It's moving. Maybe it's it's there maybe there's something like blocking the door. Alright. There's the ball. Like no, all right. Let's get in here. What? <laughs> That was just a sound effect, wasn't it? That was just that wasn't actually a monster or anything. You game! Oh, I locked myself into it. All right, step. You game. This game is. I just started and I'm already like. What is the, even that? What? What? This is not good. Oh crap. I think I have an idea. Yeah, that's close too, so I have to go there. Oh no. Uh, uh, There's a bad man coming. Okay. I am the man. Maybe. Uh, who is the bad man? I'm the bad man. Ooh, creepy teddy bear. Nice ragdoll. Edwin and Enoch's diary, October 11th, 1899. <clears throat> Daddy says there won't be a... Daddy says there won't be a Christmas this year. He is much too busy. Nanny says we must not disturb him. He is ever so busy. He is gone for work before she wakes up and often we are asleep before he returns. We found a bird in the garden with a broken wing. We gave it to the nanny, who said it was a filthy thing and hit it with a ro rolling pin. Later we crept downstairs to bury the birdie, the, the body, when everyone was asleep. There was a pig in the garden, we heard it snuffing about. Then daddy came and said we had to come inside straight away. He was furious, but we think he, he'd be crying again. Wow, daddy is crying? Uh, it takes it takes a manly man to to do those kind of things, especially in front of his children. Get a Bible. How many Bibles do we have in this room? Oh man! All right, but um, there there was a pig. It was a birdie. Things are happening. This this also this this boy. I don't know how old he is, but he is like. I, I respect his writing skills. And when I was whatever age during high school, I wasn't able to create such coherent thoughts. I thought I did. <gasps> there was. Oh gosh, there were children actually. Hey, this man. All right, got it. Everything is pretty much swell from now on. Ooh, there's something. Ooh, rocking things. What? I'm not. Uh, do I? Not, I'm gonna use this because so you guys can see. I can see anyway. So this is where the children came from. This is where they go into. All right, no problem. Exploring, exploring. Whoops, I got an email. Got it. Whoa, what? Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, pig mask again. Got it, get it. We're hiding, Daddy. No shit. You dirty bastard, I'm gonna spank your ass. You've been adopted. No, you haven't, I'm just saying that. Uh oh. Come on. 
physics. I can't physics. Yay. Pretty nice tutorial actually to to show how people how to move through the game. Oh, what is this? Random. This is random. Right. Do we have a Bible in here somewhere? I need my Bible. I need every room needs to have a Bible. George Washington says every room needs to have a vacuum cleaner and a and a Bible. Those were rocking where I when I was looking through there, wasn't they? And now they can't physic anymore. Alright. Alright. Got it. What is this? What is what is going on in this house? Ooh. Man, those paintings. All right, it's coming from there. Great. Right. February 14th, 1899. Yes, he said, I know these runes. He was a shabby fellow, all rotten with some molar disease. I caught him looking at me strangely as if what he really wanted to know was how I knew of them, biting back the temptation to box his ears for impudulence. I simply smiled and told him that my family's library contained intriguing travel books. The illiterate oaf did not understand that, of course. He agreed to lead us anyway. I have told the children truly, this will be an extraordinary adventure. If those old stones hold the financial benefits I predict, it will be merely the first of many. I don't even know what's going. They're going to some ruins and there was some dude who was being a dick. Creepy children's music playing again. Children, creepy. Clowns, creepy. So many things that weren't supposed to be creepy are creepy nowadays. Ooh. There's a stairs leading downwards. That's so kind of weird. What kind of house design is that? Oh, that's closed. So many closed doors. I wonder what's behind those doors. I don't even see a lock or anything. I guess that's the lock. Oh. Daddy! <laughs> Bastard! Children are annoying. Ooh. Look, there's a painting again, just bigger. Ah, I've been foiled. These are just textures. These aren't real paintings that somebody painted. Ooh, there's a nice ship there. Ooh. You don't mind if I record this, do you? I find it most useful. Ah, you have one of those wonderful demarted bills. Uh, no, of course not, my dear fellow. It's my own design, Professor, along with everything you see. Most useful. You understand, of course, why the Ministry sent me. That they have concerns. Alright, Aero discovered the technology of audio logs. It was here and then when we discovered that you could leave messages for players to listen to. I actually love audio logs. I love them much more than reading them. What is this? This is some kind of ruins. I guess it's the ruins that we're talking about, maybe? Ooh, stone slabs. Hey, that's a refinement. Is that a Bible? No, it's not. It's some kind of weird under book. Ooh. That's actually a pretty nifty man cave right here. What the? <laughs> this game. Guys, this game. I don't even see any monsters, so I'm ready. Okay, there was some game. Ah, I told you there was a party. I, can I get this, please? I want, I want. Nah, I'm just kidding. Alright, there's a dude wearing dog mask here. I don't even want to go there. I'm just gonna ignore this. It doesn't concern me. What is this? Do I have a... 
Um, this was just a reminder of what I was supposed to do with some thoughts. Oh, that's a pretty nice painting as well, man. Somebody had some good taste in paintings selecting those. I like those. I like those. Oh, there's a piano. Can I play it? I, I saw there was something I could do here. Oh, I can play with a stool, but I cannot play with a piano. What's... Oh, interactivity. I need more of it. I don't feel like I'm in this place. All right, see it worse. Somebody chilling out, other people around. Look, look how, how chill out she is. Sweet, nothing here, nothing here. Oh yes. Huh. Precious eagle cactus fruit. Help us. Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit. Also, it's the film of Siekle and he already has a... Ah! Also, this is also pretty amazing. I, is that... I, I'm not really sure, but I, it shouldn't be happening. I guess they have electricity, so... Weird. Again, so many... I think that the taunting people, they're just like, Lars, you think this is some kind of like dead space? It's not dead space at all, Lars. The bank is refusing the credit, the ignorant swine. Ha! I sit along at night and weep once the children and servants are safely asleep. When they cannot hear me, my darling, how I need you now. They say I've squandered my fortune. That was my investment in the la latest machines that has ruined my family name. What? Uh, that was uh, what? That w I was to remain a local butcher. What are these two arms compared to the multitude that can be applied without arms? Oh, without pay, without the tab, by adapting the mechanism we find in the looms of the mills. But if the bank has its way, it will all come to nothing. If they come for the house, I swear I will kill them. I will kill them all, oh, everything, my rifle, my rifle. All right, so this guy has a problem with his bank. And also he is a little bit of an enthusiast of machines. And he was also a butcher. Sweet. Kind of explains the piggies. He's kind of like into pigs. Too much butchering. Kind of happens. Oh, let's turn on the lights. Hmm. All right, books. Oh, a lamp. Maybe you can rub it. Maybe you can rub it. Maybe so I can. All right, I can. A hearse. A hearse. Uh, all right, nothing here. Am I supposed to do something here? I guess. How extraordinary. Where am I supposed to go? This is closed. This is closed. Alright. Guys, there's going to be probably some kind of event when I go and go back. I can I can I know it. I just know it in my butt. Alright. I guess no yet. What the Uh, where am I supposed to go? Wait a minute, what did he say? Like, he said something, I forgot. Once we said to weep, Lily is passing under the weapons that cannot slay the angels to retrieve her from him. Look beyond the paintings. Oswald, once you watch her. Beyond the paintings? Guys, there's something beyond the paintings. Nothing here. I knew the paintings were. Alright, 
But wait a minute, these are this is the room with weapons. What are you even talking about, man? Can I even talk? Guy, repeat this thing. I forgot what it was. He said something important. I didn't pay attention because it was, so, it was just some random gibberish. And alas, wait, what? Oh. Hmm. Ah. ah, kids. Creepy kids. Got them. Oh gosh, this is a creepy room situation. Alright, that didn't help me at all. Sound getting louder. Oh, the paintings are see through. Pretty elaborate, pretty. Pretty kinky stuff. Pretty kinky. Hey guys. Oh man, things are getting louder. The sound is getting louder. Pretty good idea, by the way. Oh. What? There. Oh. What? This dawning epoch. This age of reason. An empire grown fat, ripe for the bleeding. Right, I was paralyzed by the voiceover for a second there. Huh. Interesting. So somebody has been here, and somebody has been like there. Are, I guess there were multiple people here. What the? Huh. What is even that? Somebody's been flayed. And then somebody's head has been opened, and then there's some kind of mouth problem there. Oh gosh. Alright. Getting, getting, getting out. Alright. Ooh, horse again. I kinda like this. I kinda like this so far. Oh. I guess I get a good idea out here. Uh, I, oh, there's the dog again, look. Right. 